No. I, yeah. That's what we thought before. <laughs> Not telling any of my smutty stories this time. Right. Does say we're live in. Wow, these new glasses reflect a lot more of my screen than my old ones. Mm, That's that anti-layer <clears throat> coating I got. I look like an anime villain with like the glasses obscuring my eyes. <laughs> hey, that's goals. Getting like an echo on you, Troy. Gotta notice that we are live. Yeah. Three. Three. So Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Wow. need to run some live games over in that Twitch channel. <laughs> There are folks who can hear us on Facebook. Yeah, they're hearing my witty comments about anime glasses. So. <laughs> I picked some music for us. <laughs> do you like it? Do we have a license to use this music, or is we it sure just ambiance wherever you set up shop this week? <laughs> wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Roy, this... where, where are you? Are you in Korea? Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, right? This is like, uh, I, I, Is this uh... the K-pop they keep standing? <laughs> it is. It is the K-pop. Uh, it's our new show opener. I just thought, you know, listen to this. People, I'm, I'm in a, I'm, you know, I'm in a, a headquarters, as you know, our, our headquarters, and I'm playing this, and people are looking at me like I'm insane, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> yes, my friend, I am. It's Mutants and Masterminds Monday. Um, uh, pals, I can't see you. Um, I can see that you're there. Uh, and you're there in my heart as well, but I don't see my chat, um, and I'm not too worried about that because I can remedy it. I just want to be sure that you can hear what I am saying as well as what Steve Kenson is saying. Hi, everybody. And Crystal Frazier, say Hi, something. Hi, everybody. It's I got, I got some awesome new G1 ponies over the holidays. What, what's a G1 oh. pony? Yeah, Generation 1. It's the ponies <gasps> that I always wanted, but my parents wouldn't let me have. 
that. <laughs> that's what so much of adulthood is about is getting the toys that right? your parents wouldn't let you have. Oh, yeah, mine sure is. It's uh, it's. Only... I could make so many comments right now, but this is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> leave it to. I don't know. Knowing this crew, if we should leave it to anybody's imagination, but. Um, but yes, I, yes, I want to give a shout out on the air to the amazing Sean and McGuire because she she collects my little ponies and she gave me some of her duplicates. Nice. Hey, nice. Now, are they vintage or did they yeah. do a re? Oh, wow. That these are like 35 years old. That whoa. Wow, well, they look good. Yeah, she's got somebody who like gussies them up and runs a pony salon for her. <laughs> really? Well, I think she runs the pony salon for the whole collector community, not mm-hmm. just for Sean and McGuire. That, Sean's a big deal, but... But that's really. really... That's actually kind of rad. I love it. Um, <laughs> hey, look, it's Sean Vieira says uh, that he can see and hear everybody. Uh, Nicholas Morrow is here. Uh, he says, wait, my vision isn't all that great, but is that Centurion statue in, Ken's, in Kenson's background? Yes. So yeah. we've got... Yeah, I'm coming got, to you live from Riverside Park. Heck yeah, and we have got some. Um, What's the scene down there? Uh, yeah, what is eh. the scene? <laughs> What's the scene down there, Kenson? I, I can see the trees are no longer walking. Does that mean the green man has been contained? I think the problem is taken care of for the time being. For the There's going to be some pruning being. later on, but <laughs> I love it. Well, and luckily, like uh, Riverside residents are used to being pruned every now and then. Mm. Do you see your your new um, your new domain, your new lair, as it were? I, can you see it? You can't see it, but does everyone else see it? Hey, yeah, DT Scary Pacino is here. Yeah, you got new boxes. Do you have a lair? I have a lair. You do. <laughs> Both of you have your own little um, big screens, and behind you um, are uh, you. The you know, there's a. Uh, Crystal, you were wearing a, a beautiful cape with flowing hair, and Steve, you're standing very tall and st- strengthful. What is that? Why does my Muscular? cape have hair? <laughs> what was that? Why does my cape have hair? Uh, it's a hair cape, um, just like you always wanted mm-hmm. <laughs> when you were a kid. I remember. Stop reading my fanfics, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hexes, Troy. They're a very nice gamery touch. Do you like that? Yeah. I don't really know what it means, but it's something. Uh, <laughs> it's something hexy. Uh, well, so here's the thing. We've been gone on a little well, you know, vacation, I say in air quotes, because all of us were around and doing some work because we kind of had to do a little bit of pre-work for some of the stuff that we're going to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um, how were your vacations, you two? Uh, I mean, it wasn't super vacation-y. I worked through the whole thing on mm-hmm. projects I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but I'm mm-hmm. so psyched, and I think everybody who follows this is going to be excited. I just can't say anything yet. Steve knows what I mean. I hear it. I hear it when people are asking you what you're working on, and you're like, upholding my NDA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the hardest <laughs> That is the hardest right. job I've ever had. Right, yeah, especially when it's something so worth sharing. It's just a right. real drag. I and mean, there's other times I'm, I'd sign an NDA, I'm like, sure, we're going to talk about this. But, uh, yeah. Two um, more months until mm-hmm. I can make the announcement. Philip so. says, uh, hello, designers of the best game. I don't get enough time to play. Uh, <laughs> Philip, we hope yeah. you get more time to play. I, I feel attacked. Uh, right. <laughs> Alex says, uh, welcome back, Eminem Monday. Well, welcome you to us being back, Alex. <laughs> I'm wording better this year in the new year. That's my uh, that's my commitment is to uh, word more better. And uh, David says, um, let's see, the grand – oh, the grand music reminded me of Conan the Barbarian. Um, sure. Okay. That's- that's fun because I just got the Conan 2D20 RPG over the holiday season, and I'm really mm. loving it. I think I can rejigger it into a Xena role-playing game. Oh, oh, I would imagine so. Oh. I would like to see that. That is solid. That I I love that. Oh, that reminds me. Did you see um, – what what is it? Uh, it's Lucy Lawless? Lucy Lawless mm-hmm. on Twitter? Oh, of I've course. seen Lucy Lawless. Yes, <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> Um, yes, we've you... all seen the Rome series. <laughs> right? Did you see her in um, that uh, the 
the women sort of like, she's like, we can play with our friends. And then they're just punching each other through screen after screen after screen. It's just they're like throwing things at each other. And it, it was so clever. I, I, I've come to learn that it's something that, uh, that I guess um, some uh, stunt uh, women had done or stunt people had done before, <laughs> but it was oh, all, yes. it was so good. It was just- I, There's a fun Twitter account called Hedgehogs as Lucy Lawless. <laughs> uh, and it's just photos of hedgehogs alongside Lucy Lawless, usually a Xena, doing the same mm -hmm. pose. That is so great. Yeah, That's excellent. One, yeah, one of the uh, one of the all time uh, uh, greatest. And so, uh, in, in some of your time, did you get? I mean, I, I heard uh, about uh, Little Ponies. You got some ponies. Uh, ponies. Yeah, Steve. Did you get anything amazing, or or give anything amazing, or? Hmm. It was a relatively low-key gift-giving year yeah. so far as that went for the most part. But, you know, I got some, uh, you know, some books and some comics and all of that, which are always my favorite things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, but it was good. It was, it was, a, it was a, yeah, I mean, it was a low-key holiday, a such one. as it was. Yeah. Um, but, you know, a bit of a break. Gave my wife a frying pan she's been wanting forever. Well, which that's normally sounds horrible, but, <laughs> oh, but my yeah. wife is a foodie and loves to cook. I was going to say, <laughs> if you're a foodie, that's uh, that is definitely uh, a good a good gift. Now, <laughs> am I um, correct in that? Candy. Am I correct? Oh, what, what is it? What kind of candy oh, is that? It's they're they're salt licorice coins. Oh wow! Now, do you get the like the Dutch like heavy? Oh my gosh, those are. <laughs> Wow, those Being are. Moment, right? Yeah, and I mean they are they are super super good, but they are mm -hmm. also very um, they're just odd. They're they're very they're odd. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're a lot. There's my absolute favorite is this salt licorice taffy they make down in Portland, but that stuff's expensive. Yeah, uh, it is, and uh, I have some friends who uh, they are Dutch, and they will always bring Ooh. some punishing. You know, the they. They almost taste savory. It's a licorice like I've never had yeah. before. Mm. Intense, it's, I think. It's like a savory candy. There's a yeah. little bit of sugar in there, but mm. it's it's difficult to describe. I just grew up on licorice, so. I did too. I did too. Um, you know, so my uh, family, we always we do the you know baking and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and like you know, you're saying it's just kind of a kind of a weird uh, kind of a weird one this year, but. Um, my family all baked a bunch of stuff and sent me a massive box of, and I didn't, I, I thought, I thought it was a gift. And so I didn't open it until New Year's or oh, not New Year's, no. until, until Christmas. And so it was, all, yeah. it was still, I mean, it was still good. Uh, I don't know that that much um, uh, sugar uh, could go bad uh, in that short amount of time. But once I opened it, everyone was like, what? We've been eating it all this time, and I, I was seriously getting salty myself of just not <laughs> having any of the you know treats that everybody else had, mm -hmm. not knowing that I had a big box full. So that was kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so um, what what do we have on the agenda for Mutants and Masterminds Monday? I mean, it's a it's kind of a big one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this is the week we are officially opening up the Mutants and Masterminds Patreon to to tackle all of the little projects everybody keeps asking us for for third edition mm -hmm. that don't quite qualify for their own whole books, but we still, you know, want to provide. Right. I love it. As, yeah. As folks know, you know, the the circumstances of the past year have significantly impacted our schedule and how we do things. And, you know, in the beginning of 2020, we we really had to scramble to reorganize our schedule and our production and our priorities on projects and what we were producing for what games and the like. And the, the Patreon is kind of an extension of uh, that ongoing process of adaption uh, as we're figuring out ways that we can continue to bring you as much Mutants and Masterminds content as we can mm -hmm. uh, through the best channels that we can provide. Yep, and and I mean, starting out, we're going to do like one converted stack block a week, along with 
I think it's going to be one article from each of us per month, just talking about game mm -hmm. design or ideas or yeah. covering different topics. Uh, and these are all the characters we bring in are characters that you've been asking for from first and second edition. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can update any of the stuff from Crooks. We don't have, we don't yeah. own the IP on those, which sucks because I love that setting just as much as everyone else does. But yeah. We've got all kinds of fun stuff in the back burner, teams from second edition who didn't get updated yet, and whole settings from other editions that have not had a chance to update yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, yep. and what we're I love interested about in your feedback as far as absolutely. the things that you're interested in. Well, and that's yeah, what I after... love about what we've done here is um, basically sitting down and, and uh, you know, I, I had written in my um, uh, Ronin roundtable, I almost, I, I don't know, I almost said rooster table i don't even know what that is ronan rooster table um but uh but you know crystal keeps that that book <laughs> she's got that list that she's been writing you know over the uh you know we've done um this is our 30th show really yeah wow, wow. and I'm, i, I am this. counting the first one where we were all just kind of staring at each other <laughs> silently <laughs> In not like the call. incredible poison polish that we demonstrate now right oh, we yes, weren't we yeah are. We were the well, pros. now we do rehearsals. <laughs> right. Mm, well, we have true. to. It's in our writer. Um, wow. So we've got quite a few people who are hanging out and uh, watching. I want to welcome <laughs> all y'all. Um, we've got uh, a person hanging out over there on Twitch. We're streaming on Twitch. It's happening. It's really happening, I think. I've got to get that link because every time I post the the link for m, &M Mondays, everybody asks, well, can't you, or can't you stream this on Twitch on instead? Twitch? Yeah, I think that the moment, I mean, we've got a lot of people who are, um, who have been uh, wondering why we couldn't figure it out. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it was. We're old. We're old. <laughs> we're <That's why>. old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we may be children of the internet, but the internet changes real fast, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but we yep. are, wow, I mean, like we, this. We used to be with it. Then they changed right. what it was. Exactly. Seriously. Now we, what we're with isn't it. And what's it seems weird and scary to I us. I don't know what it is anymore. It seems very frightening. But um, yeah, yeah we were on the cutting edge of America Online. Seriously, right. we could FTP the heck out That's of That's not true. I didn't understand America <laughs> Online either. <laughs> <laughs> I just what? wanted to sound cool. Here's the thing I don't understand about the whole America Online thing. Does it seem like we just made remade sort of the things that America Online was <laughs> through Facebook? Like, isn't that Pretty just much. America yeah. Online? But it's just exactly I mean, the same. You'll never go broke reselling the same product to people who've already bought it once. <laughs> That's true. That is true, and it is sort of a I one mean, size. Look at all. look at Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Super Mario Brothers isn't sifting through your garbage trying to figure out what they can sell you and what you run out of, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's the new year. Let's put a new attitude on. How about that? Um, so, you know. Uh, You're for it. Yeah, me too. Me too. And uh, I'm looking at the Patreon, and it's looking it's looking mighty nice. Who did the art for this? Uh, Do we want to take a peek? A couple of different artists. They're pulled from our existing books. Mm -hmm. So we've gotcha. got the cover for the Mutants and Masterminds core book in there, uh, some art pulled from Hero High, just bits and pieces. I, uh, I like it, um, and it's uh, the reason I ask is, didn't you kind of slice and dice all these pieces? Mm -hmm. Crystal, yeah. So, Crystal, you are literally a, a juggernaut of skills. Because you don't do like I've got like three skills. <laughs> you just they just but then, all happen to be handy for game design. Then they also combine and cross, and so you know they just multiples of those skills uh, turn out to be something uh, mm -hmm. pretty darn remarkable. Crystal am, skill synergy bonuses are impressive. Seriously. Well, the system's broken. It's easy to take advantage of them. Hey, as well. <laughs> Op. Um, <laughs> let me see here. I am trying to. There we go. Um, I have to make this smaller so that we can see it all on a page. Are you going to share mm -hmm. it with our, our viewers? What do you think? You think I ought to? <laughs> probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it'll probably be a nice, nice thing for us to do. I'm going to fuddle around with this while, um, give me just a couple <laughs> seconds. Yeah. So do we want to talk about what we're 
what we're offering people starting this week. Yeah. So yeah, the, the first thing we are updating the third edition mutants and masterminds are the Scions, the Adam family opponents from second edition who mm -hmm. uh, basically are a creepy old guy's grandkids <laughs> who are all blessed with different psychic powers. Mm -hmm. And he is on a mission to prove that psychic humans are superior to normal baseline humans any day. All right, I'm going to transition this over. Folks, so let me any... know. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, folks, let me know if you um, uh, can hear and see. And um, we are looking at it now. Um, it's looking mighty nice. You can see my mouse just kind of hovering <laughs> around on the top of it. I can't, I can't see anything, Troy. <laughs> it looks good, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, you know, so how, you know, one, one of the things I was wondering is, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Philip. I'm glad you're here. Philip has like five names. Philip G. Uh, Aliva Cox. I like it. I mean, I've got four names. Do you? Right. Yeah. What how is your middle names do you guys have? I only, I only have the one. I have just oh. one name. It's Troy Hewitt. It's one word. Do you not have confirmation names? I don't have a space mm -mm. between the Troy and the Hewitt. It's just one word. Mm. Trithalamu, low regard, Hewitt it please. Thank you, Jonesy. Jonesy together. says, nice. And John uh, Polajak asks, is the Astonishing Adventures line going to move to the Patreon model? Uh, no. Uh, no. No. That's, yeah. gonna be, that's still going to be a regular release. We're uh, spacing out the releases a little more to make it a little little less impactful on people's wallets in in these trying times uh i don't know if mm -hmm. if things improve in the next couple of months maybe we can speed up production a little sure. more but for the time being that's slowing down and we're going to intersperse it with danger zones mm -hmm. but i mean spaced out we're talking and uh, astonishing adventures release still every six weeks right yeah so. so six weeks instead of four weeks. Yeah, yeah, and what I love about what you have committed to do with the Patreon is it is new. It's stuff. It's things that, mm -hmm. again, like we've said, you know, we get these great ideas or that people share with us their hopes and dreams. And, mm -hmm. you know, there may be you know, not enough dream in there to make a whole dream book. <laughs> and so we make little tiny dreams come true. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's a terrific opportunity for us to revisit some small old things that – folks would like to see again and see updated as well as to do some small new things um, and, that and... yeah go ahead i was just gonna say you you told us right here on mutants and masterminds monday you all wanted more villains so here you so go, here you go. <laughs> all kind of First, I was like what if we just did big breakdowns of how the math works and everyone was excited about that but then you guys said villains so fair enough Absolutely. And um, the um, you'll see all the, um, the the various levels there. So we've got the two dollar level that some, you know, you get our posts and messages and things and then you get the stat block and then we've got sidekick. And that's posted messages. You get an updated stat block of your favorite m, &M character and then a hero lab file uh, of a fan favorite m, &M character. So we'll have those up. Um, we're actually got them now. Um, yeah, that's mm -hmm. also the tier where you start getting articles. And articles. Yes, yes, you'll be yeah, able to yeah. get articles. And then um, all of those things for the next level, which is hero, that's 15 bucks. So it goes $3, $8, $15 is a hero because we need a hero. Uh, a, <laughs> a home for the brave and the bold. Every week you'll receive all the benefits of the sidekick tier. Plus, you'll get voting privileges on Patreon polls. Now that, tell me what your vision is there because I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, well, after we wrap up the the first batch of updates, which is the Scions, we're going to start asking people what they want updated and what new material they want to see. So mm -hmm. we'll have everybody vote on the things they, they love, the characters they love, the mechanics they want to see us like tinker with for optional rule sets, things like that. How and, cool. Yeah. People who have voting privileges can put their mm -hmm. voice in and and vote for what they do and don't want us to uh, to cover. Very nice. And then then there's the big tier. That's prime. 
And that's uh, so you get all the benefits of the hero tier, but also um, once per year at this tier, you'll be invited to a special behind the scenes recording of Mutants and Masterminds Monday. It's really kind of fun. I mean, we are kind of big dorks and nerds. We have a lot of fun, Um, but that's great. Now, this is it's it's we're doing monthly developer chats at that tier. And then once a year, you get to appear as a background character or Mm -hmm. a named lieutenant or a shop owner, something like that somewhere in Earth Prime. That is amazing. Yeah, that's the part I'm most excited about. Um, I have uh, I have seen the impact that that has on people who are just who love uh, mutants and masterminds, and they come across <laughs> their name and they get very excited and very um, you know it's moving. It's moving to see yourself represented, and then uh, yeah, this is um, this is great stuff. Like um, I like the um, uh, behind the scenes stuff for mutants and masterminds Monday. I love the name dropping stuff. I think that's great. Uh, but, you know, will will it there ever be additional things? Will we add other kinds of tiers or things that uh, come up? Or Well, the tiers are going to stay the same, but mm-hmm. the more monthly income we generate in total, the more time we can justify dedicating to the Patreon. So mm-hmm. once we hit, I, I don't know offhand what all the financial I've benchmarks got a- are, but... Eventually, we'll start releasing two stat blocks a week, and after that, oh gosh, I think we're going to add on more world development material. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, at a much higher point, we'll start doing like locations in Earth Prime that you can drop into your game. Like here is, you know, your comic book store on this <laughs> corner in Freedom City, and here's the owner, and here's like the kinds of people who hang out there. Yeah, just, just like fun. I was just gonna say, just like a Kickstarter, you know, the the better it does, the better it does for everybody, yeah. uh, as far as that goes. So right. the more folks who are subscribing to the Patreon, the more stuff we can do with it. So it says here, um, so we've got uh, our our goal at the five hundred dollars a month. Um, at this level, we'll devote a little more time to uh, new material as well as updating old. We'll release a short article each month detailing a location of uh, Earth Prime, like Freedom City Business and Emerald City Urban Legend. Well, that's fun. Uh, or a mm-hmm. uh, or a, a third superhero friendly locale and um, basic uh, Actually, updated stat blocks. I've got a little cool. folder on my desktop of Emerald City, like urban legends and cryptids that so I put together for fun. my own. Freedom City or Emerald City campaign years ago. Nice. So fun. And, um, you know, I, I not really the the term cryptid itself, like I get the concept and, you know, we've all kind of heard kind of those urban myths and all those sorts of things. But um, until uh, kind of digging in on, you know, in, uh, in this world, uh, I didn't really get it and uh man i'm addicted i just love reading about them and they're everywhere in every culture just across the you know just humans are are uh, are wild um but then we have our next tier which is 750 villainous hordes is what you've named this um do you want to share with that oh that's the one where we double the amount of villains we provide every week Mm -hmm. that's right that's right even Um, more villains i love it um yeah uh, oh and short articles from uh books like um mecha and manga world's Mm -hmm. freedom or the masterminds manual to third edition warriors and warlocks folks Mm -hmm. oh yeah (laughs) um apuk just said that he joined at prime Ooh. Thank you, Apook. Thank you, Apook. I wonder if you're the yeah, first looks one. Looks like that particular Freedom City professor is going to have to make an appearance in an upcoming adventure. <laughs> <Really>? Right. <laughs> um, and yeah, so then at the uh, $1,500 a month, when we reach that, Weird Tales. What's that about? It says, uh, with more breathing room, we can share. Before the holidays. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. You got to go back in time to that last year that we we're trying to forget um let's see oh uh, we're holding a monthly developer chat where hero mm-hmm. and prime patrons can interact with steve crystal directly ask questions um oh yeah and then you'd just be a little kind of open more uh, you know and, and opening up that process more so that they can just crawl right into your noggin and just sort of rummage around that's a pleasant I mean, way of putting it 
My wife has specifically said she never wants to go inside my head. <laughs> I, so, you know, I'll warn you all now. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it'll whatever be you a... do, don't get us to fifteen hundred dollars. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. It's a very creature at the end of this book kind of a goal. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Um, well, that is uh, that's a Patreon. You will of course find that at Patreon.com/slash Mutants A and D Masterminds because the ampersand is not appreciated in the uh, in the URLs. True. The internet is just so finicky. Um, but yeah, so um, that is, I'm going to transition us back to, there we go. There you are. Um, that's pretty exciting. And uh, yep. I'm looking at the, um, I'm going to do a little refreshing and <laughs> let's see what we've got. Uh, this is yeah we've got some people who have signed up that is for sure and it's uh it was you so it neck and neck uh pook and jonesy as our first <laughs> like neck and neck um thank you both um for for all your support honestly and uh for your continued support Indeed. yeah so yeah so do we want so, to talk the scions a little bit sure I mean, the I mean the scions are basically the the Adam family's opposite numbers. Um, you know, um, Professor Scion is a brilliant scientist uh, like Dr. Adam, but unprincipled, and uh, with his own you know uh, geneticist eugenics notions of of superiority. Um, and you know, uh, you know, willing to experiment on his own children and grandchildren to give them superpowers, uh, so far as that goes. Uh, so whereas the the atoms uh, sort of lucked into their superpowers, for for lack of a better term, uh, the the scions are are deliberately engineered, uh, and are are really those those super annoying competitive privileged kids in many ways, uh, you know, who have been pushed, you know, right from the, the very beginning to, to be these, you know, superior beings, supposedly. So they've got an overbearing parent figure who's driving them to, uh, to be kind of jerks to everyone around them? Pretty much. Where do you, where do you get this inspiration, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> It just comes to me. <laughs> so a lot of a lot of Freedom City, a lot of Earth Prime characters are inspired by comic book analogs. Is there anybody mm -hmm. you any influence you took from comic books to inspire the Scions? Well, in some ways, um, uh, Professor Scion is is sort of a magneto to um, Doctor Adams, Professor X. Mm. On one hand, but of course he's the flip side in that he's also um, uh, Professor Science, also a mentalist. Um, what so what I'm he, hearing is we need to start selling Professor Scion made some valid points. Points, you know, um, but he sort of lacks, you know, Magneto's righteous crusade quality, as far as that goes. Um, but you know, in sort of like the early days of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. When you know they featured Magneto's kids, um, <laughs> you know there there's definitely this element of you know uh, gathering these these kids and uh, definitely leading them down the wrong path. So far as that goes, um, they also provide a, a fun just sort of contrast uh, for the for the Adam kids because they're they're similar in age. So there's that you know sort of New Mutants Hellions sort of rivalry. Uh, that goes on where they are rivals. They, some of them really dislike each other, but there's also, like in the case of Max and Empath, this strange flirtatious thing going on um, that makes him feel super awkward and that makes her question her whole villainy thing. Um, so there's all sorts of teen drama going on as well with those characters. Yeah, I was wondering, because you named one of them Empath and they had a very Hellions feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. But, but the empath from the Hellions is a much different character and kind of an right. irredeemable piece of poo. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike uh, the Hellions empath, who's who's basically a, a psychopath, uh, empath in the Scions, because she's empathic, is torn. 
um, because she's a bad guy with empathy. And that's a rough position to be in. Just seeing the, the skull the skull hats and the epaulets. Like, are we the baddies? Are we the bad guys here? <laughs> no. So, I mean, we've got basically the, the five um, Scion kids who are all cousins, except for the twins who are siblings, um, and um, Professor Scion himself uh, to roll out over the next six weeks, basically. Uh, yep. And... I mean, at the the eight dollar and up level, you also get the Hero Lab file along mm -hmm. with the uh, the PDF. And at the uh, at the Hero level and above, once once each segment is completed, you'll get a collected PDF of all of them, so you don't have to keep track of six different files. Right. I like them tidy. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> but even at the eight dollar level, you're getting all the material like describing who they are and their character write-ups and all of that. And even at the $2 level, you're still getting the updated stat block, which is everything right. you need to play. The $3 level. Oh, $3 level? It's, yeah, it's the, oh. our first tier is $3. Ah, okay. But yeah, yeah. And um, See, I'm bad with money. Right, right. <laughs> right. And then at the $8, um, then you will go to someone's home and then read it to them and act out the... <laughs> No, that's that's the fifty dollar level. The fifty dollar right. level, fifty dollars. That's nice. No matter who you are, no matter where you are on the globe. Yes, that's the audio book version of the stats. We'll just read them. Super generous of you. Strength zero, <laughs> stamina one, <laughs> agility four. See, you wouldn't pay fifty bucks for that. We should actually have you do like um, just one reading, and you can just share <laughs> share that with everybody. Uh, Family um, podcast. Right. right. <laughs> yes. Right. Um, wait. Wait. I can ASMR this. Hold on. Dexterity is three. I like that. Will you do? Will you hey, go. do this for me. Will you say? So, geez. Uh, say, um, self destruct in. <laughs> right. Self destruct in three minutes. I love it. That is so go. good. <laughs> that is fun. We should actually do some of those recordings for people so that they can snip at them and then put them, you know, <laughs> I play them for their friends. <laughs> maybe, maybe we, maybe we introduce a tier where, like, if you support us at X level for three months or longer, mm -hmm. then we'll record like a short message you can use on your phone. Or mm, yes, I like it because mm. everybody knows who Steve Kenson and Crystal <laughs> Fraser are. <laughs> right. just, we've done thirty episodes of this it'll be thing. like it'll be like cameo with game designers that'll be yes. a, a huge money maker i like it i like it um yeah we really if you if you back us for six months or more we'll make chris do it he'll be like <laughs> <laughs> david body says well poopy take my money okay <laughs> You bet. It was the ASMR that did it. It was, it? Yeah, yes, yeah. It always does, never fails. Uh, Xavier says, update the Freedom City Encyclopedia. Seriously, that was a great free resource that I would pay for. Okay. Okay, all right, Is all right. Freedom City Encyclopedia? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's AKA Steve's notes for keeping track of who everybody <laughs> is and what their actual names are. I love it, Andy. I love it. Uh, Nicholas Morrow says, Freedom 2525. And- We already uh, did that. Yeah. We. Yeah, we did. I don't That's think we updated all the characters handbook, right? from it, but yeah, it's in the Cosmic Handbook. Yeah, yeah uh, we'll check to see if we missed anybody. But yeah, Brian think? Scott Bailey says update the Hero High stuff from. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. from okay. Yeah, yeah yep, we've yep. been. Yeah. Yeah, we talked, talked about, about doing classic Hero High characters. Oh, it looks like the Twitch might have issues with the stream. Is that what I'm hearing? Um, oh no. Well, oh, there's Twitch. there's one person Twitch. hanging on. Um, you know. Uh, you know. We'll see uh, that for you, that one person, um, stay the course. Don't ever leave that channel <laughs> for the rest of your days. Um, let's see. Um, I'm looking at all this stuff. Yeah. Babu, <laughs> thank you for sharing the link. A lot of people very excited, by the way. Um, <laughs> Abu says, I'm, I'll credit I'm for that excited. link. There's a bunch of old first yeah. and second edition stuff I've been wanting I mean, to update, but we can't really justify whole books of it right now right yeah. right and so uh apologize says had i known the scions were going to be updated i would have written a little <laughs> backstory about how they relate to the clandestine psychics of the van meter family 
Wow. <laughs> See cinnamon sticks in Rogue's Gallery and Fortress America in Super Team Handbook. You know, John, you are a wealth, a wealth of information, a couple paragraphs for free even. Um, oh, someone's saying the gadget guide um, kind of does. Yes, right, right, right. Uh, people were looking for a little more info or detail on uh, non-powered campaigns. Oh, yeah. The Vigilante's mm. Handbook is going to have plenty of that, yes. but we can definitely supplement it with articles. I've actually been thinking about better ways to use presence, which kind of gets the short end of the stick. Mm. So yeah. I can write that up for, for my very first article. Yeah, that'd be a terrific idea. So Philip says, one of the things that made me fall in love with m and setting was when you detailed the local sport team. Yeah, yeah, do it, uh, you do it the way they play. <laughs> totally unnecessary details. Yeah, that's fun. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, as, as folks can tell, I'm a giant fan of unnecessary details. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of sums up my entire life to this point. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, somebody says Mutants and Masterbind Soundboard. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, um, Nicole Lindrew says, uh, OMG, you people, stop. It's a family show. Um <laughs> Let's see. I oh. have restrained myself very well so far this year. I would right. say in 30 shows, we have kept it nearly together. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a couple. Nearly. couple nearly. This crowd, that's a lot. It is asking a lot, and you, the people got you know way more than, than uh, really what we even expected of ourselves. Uh, Apuk says there's no such thing as unnecessary details. Unnecessary See, details. Bernard yeah. finishes off with uh, unnecessary details are what makes campaign settings lifelike. Yeah, it keeps you. It's immersive. It's immersive. I, I, you were talking to somebody who is writing a novel set in the 1920s and so has been looking up diner menus from the 1920s mm -hmm. to figure out what my characters would have had for lunch and how much it would cost them. How fun. So. <laughs> have you, uh, so our, our, um, Diner is diner food uh, back in the day compared comparable to what we have now. I mean, was it? I mean, some of it. A lot of it is just basic sandwiches like you'd make at home. Sure. So, but there's also you know flapjacks, bacon, eggs, toast, coffee. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of moxie. Yeah, moxie. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of moxie. A little spit and polish. Uh, yes, absolutely, and other things and idioms of the day. Um, and gumption. Like you and could gumption. get a lot more gumption back then for ten cents. Yes, true. yeah, for ten cents you could get a sack yeah. of gumption, um, and uh, and not bad. I think it was fresh gumption. Um, yeah, fresh. well, they didn't have all those preservation techniques not, back. Not then. like the artificial gumption they have these days. All right, yeah, mass-produced gumption. No, no, it uh, leaves me a little, a little hollow. Uh, Brian says lots of pie. Absolutely, mm. you know. So, did you end up um, speaking of foodies and holidays and stuff? Um, as I do a little, they call that a reach, uh, a call, <laughs> call back. <laughs> what wow. do they call that, Troy? I, How's the wording I, going? <laughs> uh, the wording is going well. Uh, I actually slapped that that um, that um, little uh, muzzle on right in mid-thought and just... Family show, Troy. That's right, family show, wherein we talk about what is your yeah. what is the dish that you ate or made and ate that you loved over the holidays? So over the holidays, I achieved my holiday goal of eating pie with or for every meal of the day. Good goal. Pie for right? a meal. That's uh, solid. So I mean I, I made my sweet potato casserole, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, because specifically after the meal, I can turn it into sweet potato waffles, which oh, oh. they're so good. That okay, tell me about best. that. So you take Slattered the sweet potato. Slattered in maple you, syrup. Do you use like an actual waffle waffle iron? And Yeah. Oh, you, you take the sweet potato casserole, you mix it with a little extra flour and an egg as a binder, and mm -hmm. drop it in your waffle iron, and it cooks up crisp and crunchy and mm -hmm. sweet. And, that oh. is amazing. Yep. I do that with nice. um, tater tots. Like I'll mm, oh, see, up. I do that with leftover Thanksgiving stuffing. Mm, yeah. We that is that. amazing. We basically got the waffle iron because of stuffing. <laughs> right. So There's Apuk's, a lot of, what else could I put in this waffle iron? Apook says well, first, a reach a what? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. And then and secondly says, um, stuffles for the win. Mm -hmm. Stuffles? That's a thing. Yeah. It's yeah. freaking awesome. <laughs> my wife does a prime rib just for Christmas. Only Christmas. That is some of the best meat I have ever eaten. 
And that says a lot because I'm married to a meat witch who does magic with meat. <laughs> a meat witch. You can't I like see that. her, but she just her desk is right here. She's either like right. a meat sandwich popularized in the '80s, <laughs> or a, uh, a, a a a you know sorceress of the meats. Yeah, she's a sorceress of the carnivorous mm -hmm. arts. The card, I like it. That's that solid. That's good. I, got that. I also got that muzzle on quick. I saw <laughs> it. I saw it. I'm proud. A meat bender, a poop set. <laughs> Uh, sorcery oh. con carne. Uh, so if uh, I disappear and am replaced with a completely different developer next Monday, you'll know why. Oh <laughs> no! If you're replaced with like a stack of meat, we'll know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know the meat witch has struck. Uh, now minute. there's already demands for for a meat witch write up for the Patreon. There is, yeah. All right. Yeah, we need a meat witch. <laughs> I do. I'm wondering yeah, what but, some of the like would that be a, a what are some of the problematic things like she, something like she just go abraca meat and then you'd have a plate of meat like she's gonna do some she's gonna do some stuff to you. <laughs> well, you could do, you know go the whole route from wild cards of you know the the you know zombie powers that are so extensive oh. she can just animate meat. Oh. You know. <laughs> that oh my gosh a bunch of fried turkeys running around yep. <laughs> trying to poke you with that bony little wing yeah so brian scott bailey says your wife will forever be remembered as the meat witch I mean, um i don't think she's gonna mind she got a I, she got a smoker for herself one birthday so that's a solid gift for yourself i do love now is it a hot smoker or a, I, a hot I, smoker yeah it is, it is a big half oil drum smoker like she can do a side of meat in there i like it i like Not it to brag or anything so does she <laughs> <laughs> uh matthew tyler says since we're on kind of a foodie bent here's an idea for a new supervillain: the pit master complete with <laughs> minions in a lair called the smokehouse <laughs> Sure. Well, that's good, but I don't see how this person is a villain. No, no yeah, no. But like, I could see like the meat witch coming to your house, and then you know, like it's the holidays, and then all your meats attack. That's mm -hmm. like I do not yeah. want to be attacked by it's a ham. It's the unkindest cuts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's exactly. Oh, uh, oh, all that like, well done meat coming at you like what have you done you've ruined me for all things oh, this is we are in rare form today we really are <laughs> i think that we've just missed each other so much that when we can just sit and relax and this is the only thing that we can do in this hour is hang out with everybody and have fun um mm -hmm. we'd like to you know take it to the next level um mm -hmm. <laughs> you know i do think it's important that um uh you know nobody will be shocked to learn that uh uh, Madame Lindrews will only accept artisanal gumption uh, when, uh, of course, when gumption of course. and yeah, I mean, I would expect this is Seattle. Yes. We have standards, right? Exactly. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, somebody said. Uh, well, here's something that actually has something to do with you know the purpose of all of this outside of talking about the meat witch is uh, uh, Atlantis. Is that we, what it is? Yeah, they we can want do more some with Atlantis. Atlantis source Yeah, book. we've got a bunch of Atlantis in Atlas of Earth Prime. Mm -hmm. oh. But we could do more Atlantis. We can do more Atlantis. David Body, I see you. A la Kraken stack blocks. Carnivore. We only have two Kraken stack blocks. No, we, we can do more. Kraken stack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kraken stack. Kraken stack. Ooh, there's deep ones in here. Yep. Nice. Nice. That hamburger fighting its way back out. Oh no! Like she can control the ooh, meat that's in your ooh. body. Oh, I just gave me a stomachache. <laughs> How is she hey, doing? Princess Thetison is in here. Yes, she is. Oh, Brian Scott Bailey says, uh, "How is she a villain?" Supernatural handbook and Clive Barker novels will tell you so. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know what yes. you refer to. <laughs> Yes, yikers. <laughs> um, uh, Sean Duggan says, uh, by the by, were there any Danger Zone announcements today? Uh, In fact, we have more coming. We do. I need to look at our update schedule and see the last one we put up because we should have another one. Pretty soon. Now. Ready to go in the, in the thingy. 
place. Yes, so Thanks. the answer to that, Sorry, Sean, I jump is... between a lot of different product lines, so <laughs> keeping every really release do. straight is... Yeah, um, but so, Sean, um, the answer is yes, there will be <laughs> in the thingy with some stuff coming sometime. Ooh, yes. So there you go. Uh, do enjoy that. Update. Sorry, that was not helpful. Uh, you know, we, we always come back with answers and, uh, you know, with a little bit of guilt, we end up, you know, over delivering. And by we, I mean Crystal, because she cannot help herself. She is I, yeah. per perfection personified. I just want my parents to love me. <laughs> right. <laughs> they, yeah. Which is and, why I went into an industry they do not understand in the least. Right. Yes. yes. My mom's to this day, my time. parents still don't know what I do for a living. Yeah. What yeah, do you tell them? Either. Like, what do you say that you do? Like, do they think you're an author? I mean, you are. Uh, you yes. Know, of a they sort. know I write things. Yeah. And they're yeah. very happy that I'm an author and that I'm published and that books have my name on them. But that's about the extent of it. Yeah, the first time my mother showed any indication she understood what I do for a living was when I told her I was going to write Wonder Woman. There you uh, go. So and then she's like, oh, that's what you do. I honestly, <laughs> I in some reality, yes. in some mother split off reality, um, you're, you're finished that sentence with, and she said, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just had this in my head, but uh, but of course, yeah, of course. That is, um, you know, everybody knows who Wonder Woman is, and you mm -hmm. too are Wonder Woman, and so, you know, that all jives. Um, Sean Duggan says a few weeks ago, there was the one that was supposed to be already out. No pressure if it's not ready, but I know sometimes uh, things get lost in the see, pipe. Yeah, we're going to take that, you and know, and Sean, it's why mm -hmm. we're glad you're here. Um, mm -hmm. I do appreciate that you are keeping your uh, your lead in the race of most um, knowledgeable of the things that we've forgotten. <laughs> so, uh, and I, you know, that may sound like, like I'm being a little salty, but I do truly um, appreciate it. Um, mostly when it's not me, because nine times out of ten, it is my fault. Uh, let's see here. Without the amusement park yet? Uh don't know. I don't know. Did, Have we did, put out fast food yet? Yes. I thought I saw fast food. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. But uh, yeah, we'll dig into that. We'll dig in and okay. find out. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gets lost in the pipe and our brains, um, you know, are, are, you know, small. And so let's see. Um, David Body says, Danger Zones, Highway to the Badlands. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'd really love to expand any of those time zones from the, the Time Traveler's Handbook. Mm. Like, in a perfect world, if I had all the time and resources, what I'd love to do is release, like, 32-page supplements that are, mm -hmm. how do you run a campaign set in blank? Like, how do you run a campaign mm -hmm. set in the Midwest? Or in the Yucatan? Or I in like 1920s? That. Brooklyn or <laughs> just go into all kinds of weird concepts that comic books have kind of delved into and had fun with. Uh, fast food yeah. is not. So Sean says amusement park is there. Fast food is not in a oh. uh, link. All right. Yeah. So it looks like the next release himself. will be fast food. Or not so fast food. <laughs> Does that have a burger gall a minute? And if not, why not? Why not? Is there I a meat witch in there? I know it has the damage for getting a vat of, of hot fryer oil thrown at you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Word of advice, do not get thrown in the deep fryer. Right. Yeah. So yeah, flip that then. Yeah. So amusement park is out and it's the fast food that we will, there are seven out. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Jonesy. Yeah. Um, thank you. Oh, all. this is this is the one that has the entitled customer as a yes. a villain stat block. Yes, oh, my favorite. That is, <laughs> that is beauty. I honestly, oh, that is right. This is the one where I did the map. <laughs> mm -hmm. So cartography by Crystal Fraser. Right. Right, where where Crystal did a <laughs> sketch of the map, That's and we're so... like, you're gonna publish that, right? Literally, she dropped the map. <laughs> hey, I just wanted it to be clear for the artist. She and dropped it's just very like, clear. Just and take it... an hour and finish it. And it was pristine. <laughs> it was pristine. I, I, fact, I, why don't we put? You know, everybody's been so patient with Danger Zones. Why don't we put that up? <gasps> right. Why don't uh, we? Can I share my screen? Um, you, um, can, you know what will happen like. if you do, you will, um, 
uh, hold on, let me let me do oh, something. Oh, but will here. we destroy the universe yeah. and know it yeah, if we do that? Um, but if you want to, um, yeah, but I do, 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 do. do you want to just email it to me? Yeah, let me email that to you really quick. Thank you, everybody, for bearing with us. Yeah, well, you know, you get a little. Extra this is why we rehearse. Or, yeah. <laughs> See, see, this is what happens when you don't show up to rehearsal. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Well, you were. All of us were. You know, there, there are all of the, uh, all the packaging and all the things that we're doing around Patreon stuff. And I'm seeing even more people. New fifteen, eight, twenty-five. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. All right. That's over to you, Troy. All righty. I'm gonna look it up. Doop, doop, be, doop. What's my looking up song? <laughs> in the meantime, there is also a burger golem in here. Excellent. Good. I'm glad we didn't miss that opportunity. Right? Well, nice. I mean, Danger Zones isn't all about practical explanations about how you work a day job <laughs> using stat checks. Right. Sometimes we have fun with burger golems <laughs> and and fussy customers. Yes. Oh, this is good. Okay. Or fustimers, as uh, customers, if you will. <laughs> All right, yeah. let me do a quick little thingy here with some <laughs> stuff. Troy's working his magic. You know, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the casino too. I like the um, <laughs> the the lady who we have damage for her purse in there. I so I I swapped her gender around to make her a little old man just because. Oh. Everybody, Please. everybody's named NPCs were almost all female women? in a weird, because wow. I hired a lot of women to write for this book. Right? I, I love it. The turnovers gave us a lot of female NPCs. So I, wow. I had to gender swap a couple of NPCs to either, that, like, to either men or non-binary. That may be one of the first course corrections of that kind in the industry. Right? <laughs> so I love it. So now it's a little old man with a cane and like a sweet little hat. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Look at see the sketch. I am. I remember when that happened. I'm just like, as if. I mean, to be fair, it didn't have the colors when it was a sketch. That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But I like it now. Who is the burger boss? Uh, I believe this is Cosmo Burger, mm. which is a <laughs> chain we mention in. Was it Emerald City? I think so. So I like it. Now, do you draw I, all of these pieces? Um, you just kind of uh, create, you know, them yourselves. Or is it a bespoke kind of deal, or do you borrow from? Yeah. Uh, that's great. No, they're all drawn by hand. I love it. I mean, not by hand. I use a tablet, but <laughs> they're all handcrafted, <laughs> hand dipped. Um, you know the hand, the term hand dipped always seemed a little grody to me. It does seem kind of gross, doesn't right? it? Mm. Yeah, it's like I don't, I don't want to know about that. Um, <laughs> but no, we're looking at it, looking good. This is, uh, I, I, I love it, um, and I'm yeah. going to swap us back because um, <laughs> I want to be able to see what people are saying because they're probably all like, "Ooh, ah, oh, give me a burger." They're probably like, "I, I like Sean McDonald's stuff better," but I understand why you'd let. Why you'd indulge Crystal's ego every now and then. Jacob uh, Blackmon, hi Jacob, says Crystal as uh, inspiration for your setting and era guide idea. You might check out the Mythos Society Guide to New England. It's a great guide on how society works in New England um, oh, in the 1920s, including folklore and legends. Fun, yeah. I'm actually, my novel is actually set in Tampa in the 1920s, which is a really fascinating time. Hmm. But unless we want to go down a rabbit hole, I'm not going to start talking about Florida history. I, you know, and unfortunately, <laughs> we have run out of time. <laughs> Florida history, Troy. Can't do it. Right? No, I'm so sorry. That uh, really deserves an episode of its own. You know, I'm looking at your contract here, and it stipulates that the minute that any um, historical discussions about Florida pop up, that we have to pull the plug. Uh, <laughs> this is pre-methamphetamines. Oh, I bet it was a very... Yeah, what would it be like? I mean, it, it uh, would hey. they, yeah. Who wants to blame the meth for making Florida crazy, but it's the humidity. It really is. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. And you always had giant insects, right? I mean, just it was mm -hmm. always just kind of a, an area. Oh, I grew up with banana spiders this big. A what now? 
banana spiders? Is it like a spider shaped like a banana? <laughs> it's it's a large spider with like a banana yellow thorax, and then it's what is it abdomen? The mm -hmm. head and chest portion have a skull on them, <gasps> and it's got long black legs. You can't see my face because I have no body. Um, but... And the webs right. are sturdy enough to trap small birds. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, they're cute. They're cute too. <laughs> Jonesy says, it's a wet sort of crazy. Um, not I think that is it. actually on the Welcome to Florida sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wet kind of crazy around these parts. Uh, um, yeah. I feel like that's that's on the sign when you drive into the state. I yeah. think it is. I think it is. Um, I, let's look here. There are just a couple questions. Philip says, um, do, 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 do any inclination, inclination to do a lower PL style book, i.e. like a Marvel's Defenders? Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're we're working on the Vigilante's Handbook, which is, you know, how you do pl six ish to pl eight campaigns that have mm -hmm. minimal or no superpowers ah sorry someone just posted that <laughs> did you just look up spiders on the internet no, and someone scare yourself? shared it <laughs> nicole put it on there somebody has has it on pinterest ah it's on their hand <laughs> yeah they're they're actually not very poisonous i just very just, we did catch them when we <laughs> were kids little. Well, no He's wonder you're our parents. tough as nails. My God, if I woke up to that or just no, it's a. I mean, side... they can't really live inside. They're very temperature sensitive, and they need a lot of food, so they can't survive inside. Mm. So they're they're strictly outdoor I, pets. I feel that I'm also very temperature sensitive and need a lot of What's food. What's funny? Is, <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. But Nicole says because uh, it's Nicole that shared it, but I was so stunned and shocked that I <laughs> I had I just couldn't process that my dear dear friend would do such a horrifying thing oh uh, medical right yeah that is true <laughs> um matthew tyler says here's an idea for a new hero the conjoined twin psychics jointly known as synergy <laughs> hmm. well, well if you like twin psychics not co-joined mind you uh you definitely want to check out the scions on yeah. uh, the very the first installment Patreon. argent is is 50 percent of the twins yes that's right. And by the time shortly after this is done, the rest of the information will be posted up on the Patreon for people to <laughs> check out the first, you know, release of, uh, uh, which is Professor Sean. Can we share that? Can we? No, the first one is oh. Argent. Argent. Last. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Professor yeah. Science, the, the capstone. The last. Yes, exactly. But, um, well, wow. What a. What a day! What a what a time to be to be alive! What a time to be launching a Patreon, and what a time to hang out with all of these amazing people who are, um, uh, you know, coming back to hang out with us for a whole another year was worth um, of you know another thirty shows. You know, that wasn't actually a year, right? We started in March. No, we started in March, like April. I want to say April, like maybe. After, yeah. It was a little while after the lockdown started. Yep. So the, less than a full year. We can say the better part of a year, um, mm. but uh, I would say that was the worst part of a year. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, you know, and it's funny, you know, given what that um, year, what the year was like, the um, these are one of those uh, the bits and pieces of that year that uh, that got me through. You know, being able to Aww. hang out with y'all mm -hmm. and having these conversations and. And what we've been able to do and the momentum it's given us to just sort of, you know, keep on keeping on. It's been uh, mm -hmm. it's been a, a real joy. And I uh, look forward to what 2021 brings. And I, I'm shocked that I'm saying 2021 because I feel like just right. yesterday I was like, We are Whoa, now in the future. I'm partying right. like it's 1999. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah. I, I was realizing it's been a long time since I've said gag me with, gag me with a spoon. And <laughs> That's right. That is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can no longer be gagged and we can no longer party. No, our gag reflex is... Troy. I'm going to say adieu to everyone. <laughs> uh, much love to you all. I am going to go um, find myself a hamburger and look out for banana spiders. Um, Maybe find a cold shower, Troy. That's yeah, exactly. 
um, and, or a spoon, perhaps. But uh, I'm going to um, also say, hey, this Thursday, we've got um, Thursdayge with Owen, yeah. Casey Stevens. and oh, nicest Peter. man in gaming. Yeah. The nicest, nicest man and uh, in gaming. And i got to tell you that um, it's kind of fun doing Thursdayge. It's it's a blast, um, and I I keep trying my yeah, Owen, best. Owen is witty. Oh mm -hmm. my god, yeah, he's so quick. I can't throw him off. I try to throw something at him, and he's just like, like we. It's like we rehearsed boom, boom, it. Boom. Just yeah, like, I tune in more, but you do too many creepy undulation <laughs> things on that show. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We did win the award for creepiest undulating. Um, happy to say, but um, but yeah. So, any uh, parting words uh, from from you two, my friends? I mean, continue to wear your masks. Take care of each other out there. And mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, we're surviving something extraordinary. So, give yourself some credit if you're not at a hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And be Take gentle. Take care of yourselves. Be gentle mm -hmm. with yourself and others. It's that time. Thank Especially you so much. Be careful with Steve. He's a treasure. He is a treasure. That's why we wrap him up in uh, little egg foams and then uh, roll him up and then we put him and tuck him into a little cabinet. What's weird about Steve is he's only three feet tall, <laughs> but he is 100 years old. So the I camera's deceptive. That is true. That is very true. Yeah, the, the camera adds three feet. <laughs> <laughs> it does. And we could do this. Rooney mom is still watching, you know. <laughs> she yes, she is watching. Um, thanks again, everyone. Uh, we will let you go. We will see you next uh, Monday for Mutants and Asteroids Monday. And uh, let us know if you have any questions or ideas, thoughts, or kind words <laughs> that you'd like to share about me or these two at Let's Play at GreenRonin.com. And uh, I'll talk to you this coming Thursday, two p.m. For Thursday age with Owen Casey Stevens and um, you know have a great week. Bye. See you next week everybody.